Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. Amy plays Test of Talents against Nick's Living End. Amy wants to exile the Living Ends in Nick's graveyard and library while leaving the one in his hand so that Nick doesn't get to draw a card. Is this possible? Okay, so before I go into the answer, I want to talk a little bit about exactly how Test of Talents works. Anytime you have any spell or ability that's resolving, you follow the instructions in the order that they're written down. So the first thing you do when you're resolving Test of Talents is you counter the spell. And that means that the spell gets put into the graveyard from the stack. That's good because the next thing that you do is you search the graveyard hand and library for any number of copies. And so that would mean that the one that you just countered has by that time moved into the graveyard and it is eligible for you to exile. So that's good. That card works probably the way that everybody expected it to, but that's exactly why it works that way, even though it cannot exile cards off of the stack. Okay, now we're ready to answer the question from the original problem statement. And the answer is that this trick does work exactly the way that Amy's hoping, and there's actually a couple of reasons for that. The first reason is one that you might be familiar with already if you've been a fan of the channel for a while, and it's the fail to find rule. Anytime you're searching a hidden zone for a card that has some specific characteristics, like for example being named a certain thing, then that means that you could fail to find a card that has those characteristics in that zone even if one exists there. And so that would mean that when Amy is searching Nick's hand and his library, then she could fail to find cards that are named, living end, and that's because of that rule there. Even if those cards exist there, Amy can just not find them when she searches, and it's legal for her to do that because of that rule. The other reason why this trick works has to do with the specific way that Test of Talents is worded. You can see that it tells you to search for any number of cards with that name. And so that number is decided at the time when you're searching. So, since you're searching the graveyard, hand, and library all together as part of a single search, then that would mean that if you only wanted to find three cards when you were making that search, you could just say that you only wanted to find three cards, and since you're the one who's searching, you would be able to pick which specific three cards out of that entire set from the graveyard, hand, and library are going to be the ones that you find. Those ones would get exiled, the rest would of course stay in whatever zone that they started out in. This means that if Amy wanted to leave some living ends in Nick's graveyard, which she might want to do to, for example, grow her own Tarmogoyf, or exile them later from some other effect like a Deathrite Shaman, then it would be possible for her to do so because of this ruling here. It would not be possible for her to fail to find them, like what we said previously, because the graveyard is not a hidden zone, it's a public zone, and so that previous fail to find rule does not apply to that case. But that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again next time for another daily ruling, but until then, I hope you have a great day.